doing that's this? That's so bad. Why? Why is it so chewy? Nobody would want that. That's like onion jam. Onion that is the jam. best. It didn't look like that in the picture. No, God, we look so tired. Damn, dude. <laughs> like, okay, welcome back to another episode. I'll start now. Okay. <laughs> Hello. Another uh, episode in the series that people are walking by right now. <laughs> Please, ma'am, give me one second. <laughs> We're in a very, like, popping spot right now. Oh, oh my, my god. god. This is the third time that we've tried this. Uh, welcome back to another episode in a series I like to call Never Have I Ever. I'm with my friend, old roommate, fellow alumni, Allie. Um, we're in Duluth, Minnesota. Yay. My guys traveled for this one. Welcome. We crossed bridges and state lines and highways and construction. We're here. Today's episode, we are doing Caribou Coffee. Okay, fun facts. And I usually never do the fun facts with people in the cars. Caribou Coffee Company is an American coffee company and coffee house chain. Founded in 1992. It's really not even that old of a chain. No. In Edina, Minnesota. Edina? Edina. Edina. Edina, Minnesota, which is a suburb of Minneapolis, by John Puckett and his wife. I kind of like the last name, Puckett. The Puckets. The Puckets. <laughs> <laughs> the Puckets got a new coffee shop yeah. they're trying to work out. You're like, okay, cool. Nice. He was working as a manager consultant, I think, for like a really big firm. His wife, Kim, and him went to Denali National Park in Alaska. Oh, cool. For a trip, and they decided to start a coffee company. So, like, I don't really understand. Do you, like, go on vacation to, like, Alaska? Oh, Did yeah, they have, yeah. like, a good cup Maybe of Maybe it was just really really cold up there and they're like gosh it would be nice to have some, some coffee. coffee yeah but we'll bring it back to minnesota like yeah. i don't get i don't go on i don't go to hawaii and be like oh geez i really want to start a, a pizza company yeah I'll, but i'll do a it back Hawaiian in the pizza. yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> i'm gonna corner the pineapple pizza yeah. market on my vacation i think his wife is from minnesota or like oh, was born there so that's why they okay. moved back and started it so they have 600 ish locations i really couldn't pinpoint like an exact wow. number most of them are in, a, in minnesota cover 19 states and 10 international markets including Kuwait. Is it Kuwait or Kuwait? Kuwait. Kuwait, yeah. <laughs> Kuwait uh, Bosnia, and Egypt. Sweet. So that's fun. But here's the logo. So it, it used to be more of just like a picture of a straight up caribou. But nowadays, if you like look at the center, it's like a, it's a coffee bean. And then the body extends okay. off of the yeah. coffee bean. Like it's and weird. the shield behind it, it looks like a little bit of a shield, is supposed to resemble uh, the shape of a national park sign because they huh. thought about it in the National Park of Alaska. Cool. I like how it all ties in, but I just yeah. don't. <laughs> but like the main connection between where. <laughs> right. They, thought of it and how it got <laughs> just, here yeah i see i feel like they just left out a couple parts yeah. of like i need to connect a couple more dots for me it's like telling half a story i don't understand like Come who in. what where when why right their tagline is life is short stay awake for it i love that uh -huh. uh, nice. <laughs> i love that gotta get that caffeine 2021 they moved under the umbrella of panera brands uh -huh. so panera brands is a company that was made up that it involves caribou coffee panera and einstein bagels panera brands is owned by J.A. B. Holding Company, oh. which is a German corporation made up of several companies, like a conglomerate, I think is what they're uh, called. Uh. So it's basically like a chain of who owns it. Right. John and Kim Puckett mm -hmm. sold the majority of the ownership in 2001. So they were only in the game for nine years. So they sold their share for 80 million. So that's wow. good, good for them. Good, good. good for them. Um, <laughs> that'll on. buy you another couple cups of coffee. Mm -hmm. And then the same year, they moved into a new venture, which is pizza. They moved into the pizza, pizza. business. Punch Pizza is what it's called. Punch Pizza. Punch Pizza. It was already opened, being ran by a guy named John Serrano. It's in the Twin Cities. Okay. So it's like two hours from here? That yeah. Way. Two and a half. And I read a bunch of quotes that they're they're really focused on more control and family growth. They're like, just keep it like a small yeah. business and really work on like quality and stuff like that. So here's a quote from him. He said, in hindsight, Caribou could have grown slower. The second go around with Punch, all we want to do is grow a great company. Oh, kinda, nice. I kind of like that someone who got into the big chain yeah. game of restaurants and coffee places took a step back and was like, right. like maybe that wasn't what we wanted to do. We just yeah. like wanted to own a like little bit of a company. Too big for their the caribou doesn't sound that far off of Alaska if they just yeah. pivoted from coffee to pizza. Pizza, yeah. These people fly by the sea with yeah. They roast 20 million pounds of beans a year. All of them are roasted in Brooklyn Center, uh, Minnesota. And then they also have clean clean label ingredients, so no artificial flavors, sweeteners. They put like real chocolate chips, or right. like real chocolate sauce in their stuff. They don't use like a powder. Mm -hmm. I read something, they like make whipped cream every morning. They've just like moved away from a lot of the artificial stuff. That's nice, you know. At least they're trying. <laughs> yeah, um, on July 13th, Ashton Kutcher and Mila Kunis visited a caribou coffee. <laughs> Yeah. I love that. I was trying to, I know. I was like, I was trying to find random facts and it just came up like Ashton Kutcher and blah, blah, blah. Like, yeah. Weren't they in like coffee. North Dakota or something? Yeah, I think they were doing yeah. just like a big, like an all-American road trip. Caribou Coffee has like coffees, teas, smoothies. Food. 
breakfast options and like two lunch options hot chocolate they have like frozen blended coffee drinks not like a frappuccino but like just more like just blended based coffee there's one in superior over the bridge um so i go there a time or two probably like twice a month three times a month but it's i mean like good. but we're gonna try stuff that usually don't get to the expand our palate yeah. so that's it for the fun facts hi it's kind of a a big order um, I'm ready. Can I do the cherry peach, a medium of the frozen berry white mocha? And then can I do coffee, caribou, cooler, blended beverage? Sure thing, just the coffee flavor. Sriracha on everything, gluten free, and that should be it. Awesome. Okay, we'll whip this together. Holy cow, so much money. <laughs> The way that they price coffee these days, it's expensive. you basically price it out as a meal. We're gonna yeah. tip them 20 bucks just for making everything yeah. together because there's already another car behind us. She was nice though. She was so nice. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, cool. Easy. <laughs> Hi. Well, thank you for bringing your big old order here. Yeah, I know. Yes. <laughs> Sorry. It does really help with like people always feel so bad. Like, I know. I know we were talking. We're like, oh, should we go to like two locations? Should we split it up? Like, what yeah. so bad? <laughs> <laughs> we're off the window. The wind's picking up here. Smells so good. <laughs> it's got all oh, different looking cool. drinks. Yes, yes, yeah, yeah. Yes. <laughs> I just so like funny, dab her up. Yeah. Like, give her the money. <laughs> She's like, what? Give her one of these. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> just like throw the 20 in the window. <laughs> Boom. Thank Perfect. You so much. I just wanted to give you another 20. You guys didn't. That's so good. No, no. no. no don't worry Thank about you so it. much. Thank, we so much. Thank you. Have, Have a good day. one. We just found our new best friend. Yay! <laughs> We're coming back to this caribou. <laughs> I didn't even get her name. No, I didn't get her name. <laughs> so either. bad. I get so flustered. She was a nice lady. Park it. We got the and goods. Let's dig in. We got five drinks, four food items, and it came out to sixty forty six. Yes. Which is, I mean, nothing was that expensive though. That's the thing. We got all medium drinks. It just adds up. If you look at Caribou's colors, yeah. they're like this teal blue and yeah. a brown black. I think they're so cute. It's such it's a calming very color. You should like show them the bean thing. You were talking oh yeah, about the that. beans. It's very calming. It kind of yeah. reminds me of like a hotel lobby type of coffee. Right. But better. <laughs> I guess I'll try with this one. Is that the coffee caribou cooler, which is like copyrighted yeah. blended coffee? Ooh, it's is really it good? good. You're allowed to hate stuff. That's okay. No, no, I actually do really like it. <laughs> Honest opinion. It's like like sweet, but still just coffee flavored. Really good. Yeah, I'd get that again. And you can, I think there's a vanilla option and like another one. Doesn't I'm matter. mad that we're just gonna like all, everything. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I can already tell I'm gonna like everything. I mean, blended it looks, coffee is not a go to because it's just. It does melt so fast. Feel like ice cream ish to me. Right. So well, I feel bad. They have to bad. put a thickening agent in it too. Oh, what's in the thickening agent? At Starbucks, <laughs> it's like a syrup that you add. It's like a, so it's, so it's it is like, like a sugary. frappuccino base. Yeah. It's some type of sugar. Yeah. It's like a clear liquid. But it thickens it up because otherwise it'd just be ice. Ice chunks. With a layer of. Like a slushy. Yeah. Okay. Exactly. No, I don't like that. That's amazing. It's Recommend. Delish. Oh, what do you usually get from here? We never really went over that. I usually get an iced oat milk latte with caramel syrup. Okay, and then yeah. f for food, you just... Oh, no, you like that lumberjack thing. Yeah. I really wanted to try yeah. it. Okay. I've so, also yeah, gotten the something... Impossible Breakfast Sandwich here, and it's really good. I've had the Starbucks one. The difference between Starbucks and this is they'll take the cheese off, and Caribou doesn't take the cheese off. They're just made as is. They're just yeah. made as is. But the Impossible one here is made with mozzarella cheese on it, and I like mozzarella Ooh, way better than yeah. cheddar. Ooh, you can probably pull any of it out of there. The way that she was like... Oh yeah, don't don't leave yet. Yeah. I've done this multiple She's times so nice. where I literally just take off and half the food's not in the bag. So yeah. like that was really appreciated. Like I feel like their yeah their atmosphere is great. We tipped and she almost didn't even accept the tip. That's right. The way she whoa whoa! Why is this? What that, is this? That's the chicken one. Is it? Why is this like yeah. neon orange? Breakfast chicken chorizo. It didn't look like that in the picture. No, <laughs> is it cut? Can you open it? Oh, they didn't even slice it. We'll this looks it. like a Halloween promotion. <laughs> They're like, oh, for, for October, we'll just like throw an orange what dye in the batter. Is, it, is it, Does it say like, what, what the hell? hell? It did not. Look at the picture. It's just a normal it looking tortilla. It looks a little, a little less orange. Yeah, I'll put in a, I'll put yeah. in a, like a superimposed <laughs> picture. This looks like something you'd get at Taco Bell across the street, not gonna I'm gonna lie. I'm going to say, that one doesn't <laughs> look, look great. It's supposed it to be... I mean, I know they just made a bunch and like they put them all together, but like, yeah. it, it's just flaking off. No, it looks way too cooked, too. It's like black on the bottom, almost. <laughs> Chicken chorizo, Swiss and Jack cheese, cage-free scrambled eggs, diced potatoes, and green chilies wrapped in a red pepper tortilla. Oh, so, so we're just... Okay, red but it's pepper orange. I mean, like, it looks... It looks yummy. They definitely should have cut it for you. I know, come in. I love that you, like, worked at a coffee place, so you're like, should have done that. <laughs> I should have bought, like, a little... Oh, I have the food trays! Oh, oh 
hell yeah. What? I don't think. They don't Where did them. you get that? I have four. I have four of them, and people sent them to me, and they're just like I always forget to use them in the middle That's of the video. So clever. Okay. I am not a huge fan of green peppers or or Jack or Swiss and Jack cheese, but looks good. Okay. Yum. It smells like not spicy, but like spices. Mm, I actually really like it. The chorizo gives it like, like you said, a kind of Taco Belly zing to it, but I think that's what they're going for. It's a little bland. There's a lot of bread. Like there's a lot of wrap right. for how much. There's like a lot of different this, flavors, but did they, they say there's beans in it. No, but I, I taste beans. Like refried beans. Mm -hmm. Shouldn't be any beans. <laughs> <laughs> also, like, where's the cheese? Is the cheese melted? Is the cheese not a thing? I'm guessing the cheese is like mixed in with the egg. It kind of just tastes like. It tastes like a Taco Bell wrap. Yeah. I'd get it, but maybe not for the cost. I can't tell if everything is like overpowering everything else. I'm gonna eat it all. <laughs> oh yeah, I'll finish it, but I'm do you gonna- want, Do you want hot sauce? They got. They gave us hot sauce. Oh, should we try it? Ooh, Chalupa. One drop to change your life. <laughs> Here, do you want to even open yours? I'll take a drop. <laughs> One drop will change your life? That's what it says. Oh my, I don't know if this will make it better, but. <laughs> nope. <laughs> you don't like that, huh? It's just like a lot. <laughs> It does kind of make it taste better. Want some of the cooler? <laughs> the hotness of it like makes it taste good. We haven't tasted the other food yet, but I'm like, if someone's got to go off the menu, this could go. Yeah, <laughs> like, that could go. I agree. really like fit the aesthetic either. It the nice teal color and then there's like neon orange ram. Yeah, right. The picture you can like clearly see the egg and yeah. the cheese. Yeah. That just looked like, mu this like looked that really just, mushed. That almost looks like they pre-mix everything. You just like yeah, shove, shove it in it tortillas. In so it does not. It does not look like that was either wrapped yeah. there or somewhere else. Right. So a production problem, probably. Yeah. There's nothing worse than a mouthful of tortilla. Right. And you're like, what the, what you're is, like what where's this? all the filling? Yeah, where yeah. is the thing I paid for? Not yeah. the tortilla. <laughs> not, the, not, the, not the vehicle it came in. Right. Yeah. Um, okay, let's try... I want the passenger. What? I said I want the passenger, not the vehicle. The vehicle it came in. <laughs> Berry white mocha. Real chocolate melted into steamed milk combined with espresso and raspberry flavor. We both get iced coffee a lot. Yeah. And we wanted to try something that was hot. And I feel like raspberry and berry flavors do not lend themselves well to hot coffee. Right. If anybody could do it well, maybe if caribou coffee could do it well. We'll see what yeah. happens. Hmm. Good, bad. Is it raspberry? Is that what I said? Yeah. <laughs> I said dingleberry. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Dingleberry. That's when that comes up. <laughs> he disgusts. Dingleberry it. odd yeah. coffee. We're throwing um, that one out. I taste the fruit, but yeah, not necessarily raspberry. Do you think of the raspberry as a syrup? Yeah, it's gotta be a syrup. Yeah. I feel like I fucking had this flavor before. No, you're right. Plummy. I uh, didn't Starbucks have like a plummy. No, 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 no. Duncan had a plum macchiato. Ah, That's exactly what that tastes like. Duncan's iced plum macchiato, short lived tastes like the raspberry in that hot Plum. coffee. What a thing for Duncan to do. It was purple. I liked the color. You like for it. For a cold day up here, which in Duluth, there's a lot of cold days, it would be really nice. Just so it's smooth, today's like it's good. Degrees. Yeah, I guess I feel like we should have brought raspberries with to compare. I just was like, should we go get raspberries? <laughs> I like no, it. No, it tastes like plum. I've never yeah. even had plum besides the flavoring in the I've had a plum before. <laughs> <laughs> You're the expert here. I've had a plum. I've had a plum. Give me the drink. I've had a we plum. We should go buy some plums and compare. Yeah, I like it. And you can make almost, almost all of their drinks into blended ice or hot. So this I'm, ice would be good. Yeah, maybe. Might be good no, with a different with milk, too. Like, not a dairy milk. It could be good mm. with, like, almond or something. The caribou coffee feels like your friend's boyfriend that you never meet but you always hear of you never see him around you just hear of him <laughs> yeah. like good or bad you don't thing. hate the boyfriend but you don't love the boyfriend because you don't know the boyfriend yeah okay this is a everything bagel. honey sriracha on an everything bagel egg mild cheddar cheese jalapeno bacon and creamy honey sriracha spread on an everything bagel Ooh, that looks yummy <laughs> <laughs> okay you try it first how do people eat everything bagels they're the yeah. most messy Definitely not a car food usually people in new york are like everything bagel with cream and i'm like you're just walking around putting seeds everywhere and it's jalapeno bacon i don't know how to get jalapeno on the bacon they like okay. slather it good bad it's gross. good it's good you try it. like you're trying to convince me that mm -hmm. it's good mm -hmm. <laughs> no it's edible it's no. really chewy see it's like hard to rip off the flavors are really good though i do taste the jalapeno kick to the bacon why is it so chewy the bagel isn't fresh tasting oh my gosh it's kind of <laughs> <all the poppy> <laughs> <seeds>. <laughs> kinda gummy 
Like, the flavors are really good, though. So it would make it better. Fresh bagel, not really fix it. Yeah. I can't even taste the honey. I want, like, a crap ton of sriracha honey. Yeah, I agree. This oh, caribou used cheese? to have the Einstein's bagel in it. But oh, really? For some reason, that's I, like, don't see him like that anymore. I never anymore. see Einstein bagels. Yeah. It does have, like, a good kick to it. Like, my lips are a little spicy. Got the sriracha on that one. <laughs> it just hit the back of my throat. <laughs> oh, this one. That's one. That's one. Oh, where's our safety? Our safety. I'm just, like, not impressed. Not that I think that they should have great food. That is that the because they do a lot. Of, so, yeah, because yeah. they do a lot of coffee. You know, a little sweaty from it too. <laughs> <laughs> this is so good. If you stop by a caribou, get yourself one of these. Yeah. These, put these coolers. Really yummy. <laughs> Snaps and Alley approved. Thing. It just explodes. Yeah, the best. <laughs> <laughs> this whole thing. Just, yeah. I just like elbow it off. And the that's the end of the video. You pick the next coffee once you okay, try I already put a straw in this one. Okay, and so. that is the mint condition mocha. We got it iced. Real chocolate melted in steamed milk with espresso. Yeah, because there's like chocolate at the bottom. With espresso and mint flavor and topped with whipped cream and chocolate mints. So maybe we maybe just the iced doing one. the whipped cream and the mint. Yeah. Oh, if you get it blended, maybe. Yeah. You like it? Minty. Very minty. Very minty. I do kind of wish there was whipped cream on it. Just tastes like it, it melted Andy's candies. Yeah. I want a little more coffee in here. Is it espresso mm-hmm. or is it just iced coffee? Uh, it's a mocha, so yeah, there's espresso in it. Is it because it's all set at the bottom, maybe? I like it. I like Andy's candies mints. Do you See, not like? I think it's too minty for me. That would be one I'd probably try hot as well mm, in this the would winter. Be good hot. You know. But again, I want the whipped cream. Who do you think has good whipped cream? You like Starbucks whipped cream? I do. I mean, I guess I'm not really. I like picky. Duncan's cold foam. That's not even whipped cream. Yeah. That's why I'm like, oh. cold foam is a whole different story. Cold foam's similar, cool. but yeah, I love cold foam. Yeah, I just like that's not something I would like rock to the office because I feel like yeah. I'm drinking candy yeah. all day. It's like, um, oh, what's the shot? <laughs> oh, Rumple. Rumple Rumple Mans. Mans. It's like drinking it Rumple. It's like a very subdued Rumple Mans. Yeah, and now I don't like it that much more <laughs> this must be the souffle why is it so small probably the most expensive thing bacon and gouda souffle was 4 dollars nine... <laughs> 4 dollars for this little you can get like a whole mix little... chicken for like two bucks <laughs> <laughs> what is a souffle uh it's like a <laughs> fancier way to cook things eggs baked with bacon smoked gouda oh, i love gouda onion jam my favorite's gouda <laughs> <laughs> Onion jam and cream. Oh, it smells so good. Did you smell it? My favorite's Gouda. <gasps> we could fork it. Fork it. Look, smells great. Yeah. So I have no idea what a souffle is supposed to be, so we're just yeah, going in like it does a blind like, opinion. It looks like an egg bake, like you said. <laughs> I don't like it. I really like it. Oh, okay. <laughs> like, I cannot read that face. <laughs> I'm like, does she hate it? <laughs> Right? Yeah. I just have, I feel She's so like, strong. <laughs> Yo, taste that. And then two words. Mm. Onion jam. Onion that is the jam. best. Fu- what is onion jam? Because onion whatever jam. onion jam is, I want it part of my regular it diet. Like, it like tastes like something my grandparents would make or something like 100%. that. 100%. You know? The day after a wedding, they yeah. have like the brunch and like someone's mom made like an egg bake. The cheese that, in it too. Yeah. Mm. Okay, I pay four ninety nine. Back to you. Back to you. Back to you. <laughs> <laughs> Oniony sweet. And I should just like like eggs. caramelized onion. Yeah. Yeah. I'm like oh. one more bite. <laughs> it's baked perfectly. Yeah. Bagel was gooey, yeah. chewy. This, this one like definitely even, got this. Down, like the top like, is great. Even the bottom is kind of like glossy, like a little oily. Yeah, they're doing it right with this. They they learned how to perfect Caribou this one. Coffee. Get the onion jam. <laughs> <laughs> the souffle and whatever. it looks exactly like this too yeah it does very impressed you really can't tell the size from the picture so i'm like impressed it's this size because the one the egg bites at starbucks are like bigger smaller smaller oh. and there's two of them but they're smaller right okay let's try the <laughs> <laughs> that one's so good <laughs> that's the hot uh the tonic oh you can yeah. kind of see i'll put in a picture because obviously in the picture yeah. it's Way more, they pref- I mean, the, the photoshopped picture is it's like a clearly, layered, yeah. yeah, like a layered drink. But they put it like in a cocktail glass. Yeah. Cherry peach yeah, espresso like tonic, tonic espresso glass. cherry peach flavor. I love cherry flavoring. And fever tree tonic water. This sounds so gross to me. It sounds disgusting. Tonic with Straight espresso. Up, Why? Those, you know, it's like a bu- they, It's like they wanted to find a way to be bubbly. There's a frothy piece of ice in there. Okay. Hmm. The fact that it's like kind of foaming because espresso yeah. and tonic do not mix. Right, yeah. Should the we mix it or just drink it? Because I feel like the chair's all at the bottom. Want... Let's do first sips in the middle. Yeah, okay. Because like the tonic's so bubbly. <laughs> okay. I feel like someone told me they hated me. Why are we doing that? Oh, no. Why, oh. Are, we... Oh. <laughs> Why are we oh, doing this? Oh, that's so bad. Why are we doing this? 
I'm mad that we're just gonna like everything. Mm. Why are we doing? No, 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 no. I feel no, like no. someone new came on the team. We gotta shake it up for the kids. We gotta, we gotta put, give the people we gotta, what they want. We gotta put. <laughs> we gotta put tonic in the espresso, and we gotta dye the tortillas neon orange, yeah, yeah. or they're not gonna like it. It's just too much going on. If no. I was gonna drink this, I need all of my focus on this because I'm like, do I like it? Do I not like it? Why did I pay for this? This was five ninety nine. Their mediums are kind of big. It looks like. Stir that shit stir up. Stir it See up. If it tastes better. Oh, gross! Look when I stir it. That doesn't even Ew. look right. I mean, what color is it from the middle? Yeah, get the cherry. You can tolerate it, but nobody <laughs> would want that. It just doesn't taste like good. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> like, what do you think of caribou? I think the I think the items on the menu are tolerable. <laughs> yeah. like, okay. I can tolerate it. Okay. <laughs> Just give me the cherry peach with tonic yeah. or club soda. Why are we putting espresso in here? Right. The aftertaste I, is. Bad I'm gonna too. go back and ask. Can I just have like a cherry peach tonic? Sans espresso. The espresso only comes as an aftertaste. Yeah. I That's don't. disgusting. Like somebody's espresso like, I not... need to get caffeine, but I need my tonic. Do you see how this one ice cube is like yeah. frothy? There's like weird chunks in it. The coffee's foaming at the lid, and we and we can't even. I mean, there's no froth on here. <laughs> and they have and they have different ones of these too. There's like now I taste like cough syrup. The more cherry I get, you know what it tastes like <laughs> when you when you go out drinking yeah, and then and then you, you like and a then gross burp and then you throw up that night and then you go to bed without brushing your teeth and you wake up the next morning and you've oh, been you've no. been sleeping mouth open yeah. for like ten hours and then like the first sip of water you're like why does my mouth taste like shit yeah and you're like. Cherry tonic with and espresso. then you would go to Caribou Coffee and order that <laughs> yeah. and be like, I just want my whole day to be shit. <laughs> I hate myself. I just want to continue. This is in punishment. The shit. This yeah. is yeah. This is the I hate myself drink. Apparently, yeah. you, you miss the mark. That's a zero out of ten. I We're not say. even. I don't know what game you're playing, but you're not scoring any goals with that drink. Sorry. Okay, that's. <laughs> go to the next. Food. Okay, I think this was the last one because we. Did... I'm scarred now. <laughs> yeah, we did four food. I items. can't trust them anymore. Yeah. If they're gonna this give stuff like this. Hefty. What is it? Feel it. It's a what? big sandwich. What is it? I oh, think the, that's lumberjack. the lumberjack. Okay, yeah. you've had this before. It is a cherry wood smoked ham, bacon, cheddar oh. cheese, and two cage free fried eggs. Maybe with that pepper, means they're fresher eggs. Peppered cream cheese on a hash brown bagel. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a hash brown bagel. I've never yeah. heard of that. Holy cow. How do they do that? They just like bake hash browns into the Yeah. Top. If this tastes good, which you like it, I like it. How come no one else is doing a hash brown bagel? Right. Ooh, I don't really. Wow. Wow. What is this? The food? <laughs> channel this looks amazing Look at that. Mm -hmm. i would get this on my own just to try for the hash brown bagel i remember all the hash brown stuff being kind of in the middle you're like meh mm. i like the flavors big breakfast i would take a long nap if i had all but that. again like the souffle fucking wowed me with the flavors these are unique flavors that i would not usually get i usually don't get like a cream cheese on like a bagel right with meat and the ham is good. I usually don't eat like ham. I do like it. I would 100% order this if I came back and I was like, oh, I'm like starving, starving on the way to work. I think it would be better without all the cheese. But that's just me. Mm. And that was like the heaviest and the thickest. That's definitely like the yeah. most packed Se in. $7 for that. What is the hash brown? It's baked in? Yeah, I guess it's, or is it supposed to be on top like in the a, middle. A potato y. I didn't want like a hash brown, like a McDonald's hash brown, just like yeah. layered in there. I wanted like Crispy. hash, yeah, like hash browns off yeah. the skill and they lay it on top right, and they're like yeah. falling off. So, I don't think they could do that at a drive through coffee place. No. I think if someone takes that idea and yeah. runs with it, it could be great. Right. Okay, mm -hmm. we just have to try the matcha, right? Yep. Frozen matcha tea with bubbles. Matcha tea powder blended with ice, vanilla, half and half, our signature shaker mix. Is that like a, what's a shaker mix? Is that like what they put in the thickening? It must be, yeah. Served with over coconut coffee jellies they're not boba balls they're like jelly squares i mean not the not the cutest drink in the world but i like no, the I color like the, of yeah green. matcha yeah. always looks pretty you it's, never drink matcha right not really no vanilla matcha coffee. with coconut coffee coffee coconut i feel like this is a this is like a tonic round two right i'm a little a little concerned I love the emotions. They're like, they're like your face goes through. Get a couple of the and chew them. I know people love boba. It's sometimes inconvenient to sip and also chew a drink. And I don't taste any of the coconut. It doesn't know. really taste like it just coffee. It tastes like little jelly. Yeah. Little jelly balls. Mm -hmm. It's kind of mintier than I thought it would taste. And maybe I'm just not used to matcha. But I can see where like that would be a seller for people. Come try it rather than just selling them. A blended matcha. I don't like drinking things where, like, once it gets in your mouth, you swallow the liquid and then you push the chunks to the front so you can yeah, chew them. I and just I'm swallowed like... one whole and I was like, mm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm supposed to do that. You have to put a choking hand. Yeah, on right. It. 
And I think it always surprises me every time they come up the straw. I'm like, whoa. <laughs> See? Now you're like, eh, I don't really like it. Yeah, I got the coconut on that one. It doesn't know what it wants to be. That's yeah. the problem. I, I feel like I, I am impressed, but I feel like, okay, great. I don't need to immediately move states <laughs> to come here every you're day. You're going to come live up here? <laughs> <laughs> not just for care. Maybe they hang out with you, but not just for care of coffee. It's not state-worthy moving type of stuff. Yeah. But if I drive by one, I know what to get. I yeah. highly recommend the cooler thing that we both really like. Yeah. I feel like you can't go wrong if you just get an iced or a hot with like a little bit of flavor in it. I feel like they do really good at those. Maybe because the ingredients are not artificial. I definitely would want to try them again with different milks, like oat milk and almond milk. And right, see how right. Those are. Oh, I would not get the tonic with the chair. Unless, unless you want to play a prank no. on someone, unless you like hate your coworker and she's like, Can you pick me up some coffee? I'm like, Oh, yeah. all I had left was your the Your boss is being a jerk one day. Yeah. <laughs> so I got four cherry tonic espresso, espresso. whatever. <laughs> Don't do that unless you have like a mortal enemy that you need to buy a coffee for. Yeah. The bagel oh. is mushy gushy. Go to a bagel place. They uh, yeah. are, are like parallel to an Einstein bagels. Go there. Go there. The chorizo wrap they was the most up. different from what it looked like on the menu. Yes. Oh, but okay. But in the comments down below, if you go to Caribou Coffee, ever been there? Tell yeah. us what you get. Yeah. If it's the wrap or the tonic thing. You know that's fine. That's you can like whatever you like. Yeah. I you have to you have to fight for it in the comments. You have to tell me exactly why you yes. like that. Maybe you had a different experience. And then uh, where should I go next? I yeah. guess I'm traveling states to try these now. So like and subscribe. I'm trying to get to 200,000 subscribers by the end of the year. We're doing pretty good. Thank you to Allie for doing this today. We're just hanging out for the weekend. This was fun. Yeah, I'm so glad. You um, came back. <laughs> we're gonna drink these coffees and walk around uh, Duluth. Yay. So woohoo! Okay, yes. see you guys next time. Bye. Bye. Perfect. Okay. Woo, get, woo, get this window woo, open. Woo. I'm so freaking sweaty. <laughs> oh, Let me out of here. But there. Oh my God, I, I'm just... This one, we can go back and get like five I've been covered in crumbs this whole fucking time.